Allie. Today, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how I got this hair. Kind of like a walk through, talk through, because it was super duper late when I was doing my hair. It was probably like five, six in the morning when we got done because I had to do mine and Adam's. I was going back and forth between the two processes, so it took longer than it would to just normally do my hair. Today, I'm just gonna basically walk you through and talk you through and tell you how I went from this to this in only one day with very minimal damage. My hair is still soft, it's still there, it's still shiny and bouncy. It's a little frizzy because it was super humid today, besides the point. What I did was normally to preserve my hair color, I will only shampoo my roots. So when I'm shampooing, I'll just put it on my fingertips and just shampoo in my roots like this avoiding any of my other hair because for me, I'm not sure if it's everybody, but for me, my roots hold color far better than any part of my other hair. So I normally just like to shampoo them because that's where I get oily and leave the rest of my hair alone so I can avoid a bunch of fading. But with the red, since I was going to get rid of it and go to a cool tone color, I was trying to get as much of it out as I could. So instead of just shampooing my roots, I would glob it in my hands and shampoo everything and like go all the way to the tips and wash it. Hot water, like really hot, is pretty much as hot as I could stand it. That would help open up the follicle and then I would be putting sulfate shampoo on it which would strip the color out of my hair and I was gradually fading it and fading it and fading it and getting it to a pretty good orange color. Um, it was still red obviously but it was more orange than red. That night that I was doing my I shampooed it like three times. The last time I was shampooing it that night I actually mixed a little bit of dish soap in with it as well because that is a very good way to get semi permanence out of your hair with very little damage. I mixed those two together and I put it in my hair and then I like pushed my hair up into like this little bun. I left it in my hair for probably a good 35 to like 45 minutes and you can literally see the red dripping down my face and my neck so I had to put a towel around myself because it was literally pulling the color out of my hair which was what I was wanting it to do. After I was done that with that I washed it all out and it was pretty much bright fluorescent orange like Haley Williams orange. After that I had Adam help me bleach my roots because I normally have someone else do my roots because I can't really see the back of my head and I don't want to miss any spots. For that what I did was I went to Sally's and I get a big tub of the 20 volume cream developer then I get a big tub of quick blue bleach. I normally get the really big tub because it lasts me probably about a year. After he bleached my roots, they were still processing and I started bleaching the rest of my hair because I knew I wouldn't have to leave it in very long because normally if I accidentally hit the band of red, it'll automatically turn yellow. What I did was I started at the tips because that's where the most color buildup is. I've had the red for five years, so the tips of my hair had five years of red hair color buildup on it. So I wanted to get as much of that out as I could before I worked on the parts that have only been dyed maybe like once or twice. You can see that in the video that I'm like just doing it section by section, section by section, section by section until I got all of the ends and I got everything covered. I left it on my head for probably about 25 minutes and it was a pretty good yellow. I did a, lot, a small tester of the blue up by my roots but a little bit farther down where it was more yellow because my roots normally almost get white. And when I did the tester it looked kind of like a teal and that's not what I wanted so I had Adam go back in and since I couldn't see everything just kind of spot bleach where it was way more yellow than it needed to be and I only left that in for probably like 10 minutes and each time I just used the 20 volume developer and the quick blue bleach and just mix the appropriate ratios of those in there and that got me a really nice blonde. Since I was using a semi-permanent it doesn't really matter if you put conditioner on your hair because you can mix semi-permanent and conditioner to get different colors. I used the Affinity Keratin 2 minute uh, reconstructor and I left that in my hair for probably a little bit longer than um, just the two minutes because it's conditioner it's not gonna hurt your hair if you leave it in longer basically just soaked it mostly at the ends where there was more dryness than the rest of my hair and then on my bangs where those ends are and then once those were done I just put it on my roots and I left it in for probably three or four minutes 
And once I did that, my hair was a lot softer and it didn't feel dry at all. Um, speaking of dryness, when I did do the dish soap and shampoo, my hair was very, very dry. Obviously, those two components together will dry your hair out. So I used this as well, put a little bit of moisture back into my hair. It didn't damage it, it just definitely took out a bunch of moisture. And after that, basically, it was a really, really nice blonde and I was ready to put the color in. I don't have the bottles right now, but I can tell you exactly what they were. My brand that I use is Special Effects and then Special Effects doesn't have a mint green, so I got Ion Colors when we went to Sally's to get the rest of the bleach and everything in mint green. Up here, I used Blue Haired Freak and then I used Fishbowl by Special Effects and I also have some in the underneath part of my bangs right here. While I was doing the two colors so I could get a really nice gradient, I had the one here and when I started this new one, I was moving my hands up and down my hair like that to blend the two colors together so there's not just a harsh line of here's this blue, here's this blue. And then I mixed fishbowl and conditioner together to lighten it even farther from a teal to more. Almost green is what it came out to be. And then I put it probably in this area of my hair and same with that. I just mixed it, mixed it, mixed it, mixed it, mixed it. And once I was happy with that gradient, I went down and started with the mint from Ion Colors. And I did that in this section right here. And again, mixed it, mixed it, mixed it, mixed it until I was sure that there wasn't any harsh lines. And then the very tips of my hair where it's very, very, very light, I just used Ion Color and Condition. <laughs> Dick. conditioner mixed together and again went through and feathered it through just to make sure that there weren't any harsh lines and when that was done I normally when I was doing my red would just sleep in the hair in just like a big plastic bag on my head because the longer you leave a um, vegetable oil semi-permanent on your hair the longer the color will last and so that these colors wouldn't mix with these colors while it was processing I put little pieces of foil, I separated it in each section and put little pieces of foil and then closed it so then nothing was exposed and then folded it up together and just had them like this. Once that was done, I took everything and put it up and then put the bag on my head and then slept in it like that and I woke up the next morning. And I dyed my hair with extensions in because I didn't want to do them separately and then put them in my hair and realize that this green is here and this blue is here and it didn't match and then I wouldn't be able to wear them. Once I had them completely covered, I took them out and then redid any spots where they were clipped in just to make sure that um, there were no blonde spots left in my hair. If you want me to do a tutorial on how I clip in my extension, just let me know in the comments below or give this a few thumbs up so I know that you guys would want something like that. Other than that, I don't really think that there's anything else that I did that I didn't tell you guys. I just basically went blonde and it wasn't even a platinum blonde. It didn't have to be white. There was definitely still yellow tones in my hair. You just have to have a purple enough blue to go over the yellow. So, But since it's a purple blue, I can tell that now that it's fading a little bit, the top part is actually turning slightly purple and then this is turning more of a blue and it I actually kind of like how it's fading so I'm kind of excited to see where it goes from here and see how long this color will last uh, opposed to my red because I'd had my red for five years so there wasn't really any fading it left at all anyway <laughs> I hope that helped you guys and I hope it answered any questions that you had. If you guys have any more questions about the process I went from going from this to this, just let me know and I will definitely answer your comments. If I don't answer your comment and I just thumbs up it, you have to um, change your settings on Google Chrome so that you can actually have replies to you because some of them you don't have a reply button and I can't get back to you. So definitely do that. Give this video a like, um, subscribe if you aren't and I'll see you guys next time.